Hello everyone. This is Professor B R Birajda. Today we are going to see the fundamentals of the machine design. First we will see the definition of the machine design. The machine design is defined as the use of the imagination, scientific principles and engineering techniques to create a machine or the structure economically in order to satisfy the requirement of the customer machine design is the first step involved in the creation of the machine so this machine design deals with few points that deciding the overall dimensions of the machine deciding dimension of each part and its shape selecting the appropriate mechanism selecting the material then selecting the correct manufacturing process and the last ergonomic and aesthetics these are the few points which we have to consider while designing now what are the objectives of the machine design so it should have the strength rigidity wear resistance minimum dimensions and its minimum weight manufacturing safety reliability and the cost so this all points we have to consider while designing any machine component if we consider all this point then and then only we can say this is the good design now we will see the classifications of the machine design this machine design is broadly classified into three types out of that the first one we will see the adaptive design so this type of the design needs no special knowledge or the skill and it can be adopted by the designers of the ordinary technical training so the designer only makes the minor alteration or the modification in the existing design of the product means whatever the previous design it is there that as it is we have to adopt or we can do the minor changes in the design that we can call it as a adaptive design the second is the development design this type of design needs the considerable scientific training and design ability in order to modify the existing design into a new idea by adopting a new material or the different method of the manufacturing in this though the designer starts from the existing design but the final product it may differ markedly from the original product means here we have to make the considerable changes in the design that we can call it as the development design a third one is the new design and that also we can call it as a creative design this type of design needs a lot of research technical ability and creative thinking only those designers who have the personal qualities of sufficiently high order can take up the work of the new design so this is the totally new design new challenge so these are the three basic types of the design now we will see the general design procedure so it starts with the need of the design means why we should design this second problem statement what is the exact problem or the specification or the performance level of that design that we have to check then the third design ideas and the alternative means here we have to check the system design and the kinematic arrangement that link that we have to arrange then we have to check the feasibility means technical aspects and the economic aspect that we have to check whether this design is feasible or not then the design development means the function production use and the maintenance all these different parameters we have to consider in the design development then 
we can go for the final design so in this final design we consider again aesthetics ergonomics stability production method and the cost then lastly detailed drawing means that is the plans drawing standardization and the optimization then we can go for the prototype and then we can test if it is okay in test then we can go for the production so this is the overall the general design procedure again the second is the procedure of design of the machine element okay so specify the function of the element so this is the first step in the design of the machine element so here the design of the machine element it begins with the specification of the functions of the element if you take for example bearing the bearing is to support the rotating shaft and confine its motion so here the function of the bearing is to support the rotating shaft so here what we have to do the function of the element that first we have to define or even if you take the another example key to transmit that torque between the shaft and the adjoining machine part like gear pulley or the sprocket then the second one determine the forces acting on that particular element or the part in many case a free body diagram of the forces is constructed to determine the forces acting on the different machine parts Uh, it may be the external force or it may be the internal force so we have to determine what are the different forces acting on that element then we can go for the third that is the select the suitable material for that particular component four basic factors which are considered in selecting the material are whatever the material we are selecting whether it is available what is the cost of that material what are the mechanical properties of that material and the different manufacturing consideration so these are the four important parameters which we have to consider while selecting the appropriate material then next step determine the different failure mode of that before finding out the dimension of the component it is necessary to know the type of failure that the component may fail when it is put into the service the next determine the geometric dimension of it the shape of the machine element depends on the two factors the operating conditions and the shape of the adjoining machine element so depending on that we have to select the appropriate dimension next step is modify the dimensions for assembly and manufacturing and check the design at critical cross section and the last the prepare the working drawing of the element in the last step in the design of the machine elements is to prepare a working drawing of the machine element showing the dimensions of the component what are the different tolerances we are using for different parts what are the surface finish grades of each part and what are the geometric tolerances and whether any special production requirement like heat treatment that is required for that particular component so all this different parameters that we have to include in the working drawing of that element